YouTube. Um, good morning. I am taking out these Bantu knots. Some of my hair is still wet. Mind you, you all saw in the video that I did not use water. But, um, it's still wet. Like, well, the ones that I did thicker anyway. Look at this one. See? I don't even have a Bantu knot curl to it, but the rest do. In the back, the smaller ones. So, that kind of sucks, but it's all good. I always have issues with this area on this side drying. Um, but yeah, so I'm going ahead and releasing the Bantu knots. Um, and I'm going to unravel. I know this is going to be really poofy right here. Um, this piece right here. It's always my problem. Always. Ugh. But yeah, so I'm trying to take these out. So I'll come back at you guys. Let me show you how I do it. I kind of unroll it like this and do that. There we go. Uh, kind of twist like a like a um, top, bottle top, and then unravel. There you go. Twist, twist, twist. Grab a hold of that piece that was tucked in and release. And twist, twist, twist. Let me see if I can get a hold of that bottom piece. And release. So I should have did this smaller right here. I was a little lazy with that side, I guess. But everything else is alright, except for this piece. I know it's going to be looking raggedy back there. So it's probably going to be longer than... That's already that, that section that's super long. So it's going to be long. It's so wet. like It's like I sprayed a whole bunch of water on it. So yeah. I should have parted it in two. But everything else is pretty much dry. I have some damp ones in the back. But see these two are the ones that are wet. Sucks man. I just know how that's going to look. Just the feeling and everything. You know, when you really know your hair. But anyway, I'll come back. I just wanted to show y'all that part. See the time is running. See that? Puffy. No definition. It's all wet. So I'm trying I'm gonna try not to unravel that so much, but I'll be right back. Hey guys. As you can tell I am not excited. My hair is weighed down because the majority of it, I would have to say about ninety percent of my hair is still um wet um i think i'm not gonna knock the product because i see the potential that it has as you can see the front i did small um so look i like the curl definition on that that's really nice so what i think went wrong was the fact that i used it with the cream based leave-in i should have probably used the knot on my watch or used the product by itself um that's probably what i should have done um, so I'm going to try again tonight, um, maybe, <laughs> if I'm feeling up to it, um, with the not on my watch, or by, I think, what, what do you guys think, should I do it by itself, or should I do it with the not on my watch leave-in, a lighter leave-in conditioner? Um, well, I think I'll try it with the not on my watch first, um, but the thing about this, um, product, I think it's probably best to do it the morning before um, <laughs> instead of the af um, the evening because, well, for my hair, it takes forever to dry because I have low porosity hair. I think that's what low porosity hair is, is when you have the color. And I think from what I've listened to on a couple of videos, um, when you have a lot of color or whatever your hair, it takes a lot for your hair to dry or absorb or whatever. I don't know the whole scientific thing on it, but I think that's what it is. But yeah, so um, I'm going to go ahead and go with this. And um, I'll bring a uh, a, a knee-high just in case I want to pull it up into a puff if it starts looking raggedy. I don't know. I was thinking about uh, pinning it up um, on the sides because I already feel that this is just going to poof up. So I think I'm going to just pin it up. And... Um, going about my day because yeah I'm not feeling this right now all of this poofiness it's not well it's not even the poofiness it's the fact that it's still wet that's what's aggravating me but yeah so I'm gonna go ahead and pin it up you guys 
I did a hairstyle like this on Saturday. I went to a concert, pinned all of the back up and just left the front out. So I'm going to do that and I'll come right back at you guys and show you that. So here's the final look, guys. Um, to eliminate the possibility of looking like a hot mess afro. <laughs> I love my fro's, y'all, but uh, that was not going to turn out good by the end of the day. Because once this Miami heat get on it, and the sun get the get the working with all that humidity in the air, it's gonna be like phew. so. Um, to eliminate it being a hot mess all over my head, it'll just be a hot mess on top of my head. So I pinned everything up in the back and left the front out because the front, you know, well, a little bit of the front curled up the way I wanted it to this top part, not so much. So um, I'm probably gonna try it again, you guys. Um, tonight if I'm up to it. If not, I'm putting my hair up in a puff tomorrow because I have a picnic to go to anyway. So my hair needs to be up. Um, but yeah, you guys. So I shall see you guys later. I think I'll come back at you guys later and show you the end of day hair to see how it turned out. Alright, you guys. God bless you. Deuces. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.